Hello student, my name is Nimesh Prabhakar. I am assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in Instrumentation and Control Department. Welcome to Process Dynamic and Control Lecture Series. Today we are going to discuss about dynamic of heat exchanger. In my previous lecture, we discussed about the basic of heat exchanger. In that lecture, we see like a different type of heat exchanger. Now, in this lecture, we study about the dynamic of steam heat exchanger. So, here we consider one heat exchanger. This is a simple tube and saline tube type heat exchanger. So we know the operation of saline tube type heat exchanger. Consider an exchanger in which steam is condensing on the outside of the tube and liquid or gas is flowing in the tube. That means liquid is flow by using this tube like a in this tube liquid is flow and steam is flow surrounding this tube so this is a simple heat exchanger like a silent tube heat exchanger here this is a inlet of the fluid and this is a outlet flow of the fluid and this is a inlet of steam and this is a outlet of the steam so see here the fluid is flow in this tube and the steam is flow surrounding of this tube and like a steam leave from this side. So this is a basic steam, uh, sorry, silent tube type heat exchanger. And this graph indicate the heat exchange between fluid and uh, like a, a fluid uh, and uh, here steam so here theta is represent the temperature of fluid and uh, this temperature is vary accordingly heat transfer and finally the temperature is increase from this theta w is represent the wall temperature and uh, theta s finally the temperature theta s at the outlet side of the fluid so theta is the fluid inlet temperature and finally we get theta s as the outlet temperature of fluid so this is a first fluid is the cold and in the outside the fluid temperature is increased that means the outlet fluid is the hot this is a basic uh, uh, requirement of uh, uh, any heat exchanger like uh, any owner of the industry so in this uh, we give cold fluid from this side and uh, we get hot fluid so what is the aim of uh, study of the dynamic of heat exchanger so here the aim is to find the transfer function between theta by theta s that means this fluid temperature at the first beginning and the last temperature at the outlet temperature of this fluid. So we have to find out the transfer function of theta by theta s. So the energy balance for fluid and stream for the length dx of single tube is given by mf cf d theta by dt dx plus cf fcf theta x e theta by theta x into dx is equals to h1 a1 dx theta w minus theta so first of all question occur in mind how this equation come so this is a basic equation of heat transmission so here we understand one by one so first term here first term indicate total heat gained by cold water 
during travel in a heat exchanger that means here we give cold water and this cold water gain heat by this steam this represent this term now second term second term represent heat gain by tube that means this tube wall is also gain some some heat of this steam this represent this term and the last one last one is the heat gain from steam that means total steam we given in the here to make this hot water to cold so this is a represent nothing but the total heat or the total steam or the input given by given in this scenario so to understand this we take this example like we give 50 50, uh, 50 energy here like a steam give the 50 joule energy and this 50 joule energy is divided between wall this uh, tube wall and this water so like uh, 30 is absorbed by the, this wall wall of the tube and 20 is absorbed like uh, this uh, water so for understanding this we take this example so 50 is divided into two part 20 is the main aim our to make this uh, cold water to hot so this uh, 20 uh, joule is uh, represent this term and 30 that means the absorption of the energy of total uh, by this wall is represent 30 so now now we now here mf is represent the mass flow of uh, liquid per feet cf is represent heat capacity of fluid h1 is represent the inside heat convection coefficient and a1 is represent inside transfer area in the tube and theta is the fluid temperature and theta w is represent the wall temperature now we divide this whole equation by h1 a1 so we get mf cf upon h1 a1 d theta by dt plus f cf h1 a1 d theta by dx and theta w minus theta here one more term here theta d theta by dt is represent the variation of temperature with respect to time and here represent the variation of temperature with respect to length x is represent the length uh, and in previous term dx 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 is common so uh, we eliminate this term now here we here we multiply by mf in the both the side like in a denominator and in the numerator we multiply mf so we can arrange like f is here and mf remaining term is stem and this is denominator so we can write this equation as tau 1 d theta by dt plus v tau 1 d theta by dx is equals to theta w minus theta here tau 1 is represent mf cf h1 a1 like this term and this is also tau 1 because mf cf h1 a1 and v here v is represent f by mf like v is the velocity and this is nothing but the ratio of the m sorry f upon mf so this is the first term now uh, we find out second one the energy balance for the wall so energy balance for the wall we can get by using this equation mw cw d theta w by dt into dx is equals to h2 a2 
dx theta s minus theta w minus h1 a1 dx theta w minus theta. So, for understanding this equation, so first one term here this term is represent heat gain by the pipe wall. That means this pipe wall gain some heat. This represent by this equation. And the second one term is represent heat given by steam at outside or the also the heat available. That means total steam heat given outside of this wall. This represent this equation. And theta s minus theta w is nothing but the delta t we can show. So this is nothing but the uh, temperature difference represent. And the last one term is represent heat gain by water at inside. That means in this tube, water gain heat. This represent by this equation. So now we divide both the side by H two A two. So we get M W C W H two A two d theta by d t is equal to theta s minus theta w. This term is H two A two is cancelled, and H one A one H two A two theta w minus theta. Now, now we multiply in this term both the side M W C W like the in numerator uh, and denominator. Sorry, denominator and numerator. We multiply both the side by M W C W. So we can arrange this type. This H one A one is here. And this is a multiplied term, and this is a M W C W, and this H two A two. See here, M W C W H two A two, M W C W H two A two. This both term is the same. So we can write this equation as tau two d theta w by d t theta s minus theta w minus tau two upon tau one two theta w minus theta. And here. Tau two is represent M W C W H two A two. This term and this term. This is a represent tau two. And tau one two is represent M W C W H one A one because here tau one two is in the denominator. So this term is inverse. So like M W C W. And H1 A1 is nothing but the R1 C2. So now, now we take the Laplace transform of equation number one and two, like uh, energy balance of the wall and this. They like uh, these two equation, equation number two and equation number one and equation number two. So we can write Laplace transform as uh, first equation is the tau one is the T1 and uh, This is the differential, uh, so we can write the s into theta plus v t1 d theta by dx is equal to theta w minus theta, and we can write also Laplace transform of the second one equation as the t2 s theta w theta s minus theta w is same t2 upon t1 to theta w minus theta. Now, now we are eliminating theta w. Like theta w, theta w from both these equation, equation number three and equation number four. So we can write this equation as v by a theta d theta by dx plus theta is equal to v by a into theta s. So here a is represent this term t1 s plus one into t1 to t2 s plus t1 to plus t2. Upon t1, t1 to t2 s plus t1 to plus t2, and v by a is represent this term. Now, now we take this equation for simplification. So here we take this equation, and now we arrange this equation as like uh, this right hand side term go in the left hand side. So we know this right hand side term is in the numerator, so it goes in the denominator, and this left hand side term is go in the right hand side. 
so this term is go in the uh, denominator so this is opposite b by a is nothing but the a by b and dx is go in this side and dt d theta is the same as d theta now we take integration on the both the side so we take integration and now we solve we know the integration of this term is nothing but 1 upon x is the log x so, so we can write log base is e b by a theta s minus theta is equals to this equi uh, this integration a by v into x and the c is on the plus c now this minus term is go in the right hand side so we can write minus a b into x minus c so this is not this term is going this side now we can write this log is also transfer in right hand side so we know the log is the e raised to anti log of this anti log term is now represented by e is the e raised to minus a v into x into this e raised to minus c now this is a constant term so we can write this term as a simply c remaining term is the same so this is a constant term so to find out the value of c we now consider this equation in this equation the theta value is 0 and x value is 0 that means in this equation to find out the value of c we consider theta value is 0 and x value is 0 so we can write b by a into theta s is equal to c so now we put this value of c in the last one equation that means this value of c we put in uh, this equation this equation so we get b by a theta s minus theta is equal to e raised to minus a v into x and this is a c is b by a theta s and uh, finally we can arrange this equation as b by a is common from both the side so b by a 1 minus e raised to minus a v by x and also theta s theta s is common so now and this minus theta go in the right hand side so we can write theta now we can write this equation as theta by theta s so aim is our is to find the transport function theta by theta s is equals to b by a 1 minus e raised to minus a v by x so this is a transfer function we can also write this equation here the term this term is represent x upon v is the represent the term of the time delay so time delay so we can write this equation as uh, now for, uh, for this x upon v we can write simply at so we get this equation as theta by theta s is equals to b by a 1 minus e raised to minus a into n so this is a final equation of the dynamic behavior of steam heat exchanger okay